What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 8 video. Now, for the first, like, month of Series 8, I wasn't too into it. I've sort of found my groove, I've sort of found a couple of things I want to do with Series 8 content as far as uh, just team building goes, because I, th I think a lot of you guys know that most of my content has just been around uh, team building and making cool stuff within the format. That's sort of like my little niche within the Pokemon community. Well. Uh, I, I feel like I've gotten, I've gotten my footing in Series 8 finally. Uh, so we're going to be back on it. We're going to be back on Showdown for a little bit. And today we're going to be using this Eternatus team that I built the other day. And it's still in like the early works, of course. I'm not going to run Max Max Porygon 2. Uh, I might adjust the Landorus. I might adjust the Glacier. But <laughs> beyond that, everything seems a little bit... You know, it, it seems like it's going to stay the same for the most part. <clears throat> but before we get into that, do me a favor, leave a like in the video if you enjoyed at any point in time. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content. And answer my comment question of the day. Do you guys have any ideas for Kaparaja? <laughs> I've been trying to think of a way to run Kaparaja for like this entire game since VGC 2020. I've been trying to make Kaparaja viable and it seems like he'd be better in a non-Dynamax format, but... In Dynamax format, he's kind of eh. He's got good HP, but really low defenses and really high attack, and he can like run Life Orb, Sheer Force stuff, but when you Dynamax, you don't get those benefits, so it's a little bit weird running him. Let me know if you guys have any ideas. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So the first member on this team is going to be a Power of Eternus. I have given this guy enough speed, so he is able to outspeed base 111 Pokemon like Tornadus or Thunderous. Um, he has, of course, Power of Meteor Beam, which allows me to hit a lot of things for like a solid amount of damage. Calyrex Ice does not appreciate that hit. Uh, Galarian Moltres does not appreciate that hit. Dynamax Cannon is really cool for being able to catch Dynamax Pokemon and hit him with an extremely powerful Dragon move, especially at plus one. Uh, it's really, really powerful. Honestly, the fact that the the fact that Zacian can't Dynamax is really huge for Eternus because it makes it so like you don't even have to worry about Dynamax Cannon not hitting Fairy types because most Fairy types in this format are either Tapu Fini or Zacian, which regardless you can hit them. You don't have to worry about Dynamax Cannon. Uh, Flamethrower is specifically for hitting Zacian as well as a couple of other Pokemon like Kartana or Celesteela. And Sludge Bomb is just there as a really nice way to catch fairies like Tapu Fini or uh, other Pokemon. Just having Stab is really nice. So not running Protect on this guy is pretty weird in my opinion. I don't like not running Protect on Eternatus, but I I'm going to go with it anyways. It's been working out pretty okay in the testing I've done. Next up, we have an Assault Vest Kartana. The exact same spread I've run in like every single format because it's just a very normal spread to run. It's a very easy spread to slap on to just about any team. He's running an Assault Vest, uh, Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword, Aerial Ace, Smart Strike with uh, enough speed to outspeed base 100 Pokemon like Charizard, max special defense, and 68 HP. For the people who, it seems like every time I use Assault Vest Kartana, I always get this question, why bother running Assault Vest on Kartana if it's going to drop to a special move anyways? Uh, that's, it doesn't. It's, it doesn't. And that's the point. Uh, previously, Kartana would, like, if you ran Max Max Kartana, even a resisted move like a Thunderbolt from Regieleki could possibly one-shot it, if not two-shot it, very easily. When you run Assault Vest Kartana, especially when you're Dynamaxed, you're able to actually take special moves. So you don't need to run attack on this guy, you just need speed, special defense, and he's good to go. It's more about, it's more of a longevity thing than a, oh, I want him to survive every hit thing. It's literally just adding onto its longevity. Uh, and it's, it's something that people ran very often in previous formats, and even in this format, it's still really good. Running a Focus Sash Regieleki uh, with max special attack, max speed, 4 HP, Electroweb, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Protect, just offensive Regieleki has been doing wonders for this team. Uh, especially next to Eternus, being able to click Electroweb is really huge uh, versus things like uh, Zacian. We're running a Life Orb Glacier, Protect, Ice Cold Crash, High Horsepower, Close Combat, just max max, uh, max HP, max attack, 4 special defense, with a Brave Nature of course. A Lumberry Landorus, it helps out a lot versus the... Um, the Sun Room teams where you face like Gigantamax, Venusaur, plus Groudon. It's really useful there. Uh, Lumberry allows me to take a Sleep Powder and then hit it with a Max Fly while I also Intimidate the Groudon on the lead. Uh, we're running Fly, Earthquake, Rock Slide, Protect, Standard Stuff, Jolly Nature. And for now, we're running Max uh, Special Attack, Max HP, 
Porygon 2 with download, Eevee Light, Tri-Attack, Eerie Impulse, Recovered, Trick Room. Not the most effective spread, but nonetheless the spread we're going to run for today's video until I figure out a spread that I like. I find when I run Porygon 2 or Dusclops, uh, it, I like always just, with Dusclops I always just run Max Max because you, you can't really go wrong with Dusclops. Uh, with Porygon 2 I struggle a little bit because it's actually an offensive Pokemon that I should probably, you know, distribute the special attack into different spreads, you know, like into different, uh, into different stats, but regardless, let's go ahead and get into the video. Once again, this is more of a team testing session. I did do some minor testing prior, so I don't know how well this team is going to perform. <laughs> it seems like that's what most of my videos are lately, but just because like I haven't been able to enter tournaments. There are certain teams where when I make it, I'm like, okay, this is a tournament team. And then there are some teams I make and I'm like, this is a content team. I would say this is sort of in the middle of those. This is both a content and a tournament team. <laughs> I might end up bringing it to a tour. Um, but this is actually really, hmm, this is actually a really strange one. Because they do have the Venusaur option, but also the fact that Thunderous exists makes me really not want to lead off Landorus. Hmm. I could just go Eternatus on lead, it's very hard to go wrong with that. Yeah, Eternatus on lead is really nice because I'm going to be able to drop a Meteor Beam on a few Pokemon, but I do have to be careful with Kirin White, or Kirin Black, because it would be able to take a Meteor Beam if it Dynamaxed. Uh, I definitely want to bring Glacier to this matchup. I just feel like that's a good option. Hmm. How do I play this lead, though? I feel like a lead that's hard to go wrong with is going to be Reggie like Eternatus here. In the back, I'll bring uh, Glacier, Porygon 2, and I feel pretty okay with that. Okay, so they end up going with uh, Sun Mode. I do believe Venusaur is able to outspeed me because it does hit 290, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, what I could try to do here... It's just toss off a Meteor Beam on the Venusaur and try to get an Electro Web off regardless. If they end up going for the Sleep Powder into, into Eternatus, it's whatever. Uh, if I can if I can lower this thing's speed, it'd be really nice. Yeah, this is actually a little bit of an unfortunate lead. Does Flamethrower do more? Let me think, because it's Sun Boosted. It's Sun Boosted and uh, it's, in, it's super effective, so... What is that? That's 90 times 2... 50%. I don't know. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for the flamethrower and the Venusaur as well as an Electroweb. Okay, cool. That worked out. So I'm going to slow this thing down and knock out the Venusaur. Torkoal might go for a Yawn here. I'd rather it just go for a Heat Wave, to be honest. As it goes for the Yawn onto Eternatus, which I guess is okay, actually, because what I can just do here is switch in my... I definitely don't want to get in... I definitely don't want to get in Glacier here, because Glacier is going to be really nice for the endgame. I'll get in P2 and just go for a Protect. Alright. As they go for the Fake Out, that's perfectly fine. Um, the fact that the Venusaur was Life Orb tells me that the Mian Xiao is 100% going to be the Focus Sash user. I'd like to get rid of Mian Xiao, because then the rest of the game is really, really easy. Kirim does not take a hit from Eternatus, so I'm actually going to do something kind of kind of brazy here. I think I can take a hit from Mian Xiao. I'm like 90% sure. I'm going to go ahead and go for a Tri-Attack into the Mian Xiao, as well as a... I could Volt Switch. I really could. and It would, it would deal like the same amount of damage. I could also Electro Web. Let me think, if I Volt Switch, I can get out of there and bring in Glacier on an Ice move, probably. I'll Volt Switch. Get in the Glacier. As he goes for a Coaching, that's terrifying. Max Hailstorm, I survive. I'm going to get rid of Mian Xiao, which is really huge for the endgame. And in comes Torkoal. Hmm. I mean... I outspeed the Torkoal with my Glacier right now, and Glacier is probably my best Dynamax option. So what I'm actually going to do here is just... I'll just try to KO the Torkoal. If I Dynamax, I should be able to eat a hit from Kyurem. If it's minimum speed Torkoal, I should be fine, but if it's not minimum speed, I'm in huge trouble. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is... I'll actually just Eerie Impulse the Torkoal and hope for the best and go for the Max Quake. Alright, so he goes for a Protect. That's okay. Max Wormwind. I get in my Eternatus now, and I think here my play is to just Dynamax Cannon and go for another Max Quake. I'm going to outspeed this thing, and Dynamax Cannon is going to do a ton, 
Basically, as long as I can get this thing in range of Regia Leki, I'm fine. That's Assault Vest, yeah. I'm gonna lose my Eternatus. How much am I doing here? Uh, we don't take we don't take out the Torkoal. That's a little bit annoying. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, but what I can do here is I should be able to live a hit from the Kyurem. I think my play here is to Electro Ebb and go for a Max Knuckle into Kyurem. Because as long as I connect on Torkoal, it's going to KO, and it also gets some chip on the Kyurem, even though it's resisted. Yeah, that's my play. Because I, I need to get chip on Kyurem to make it easier for Glacier to get a KO eventually, but it's going to be really annoying. Burning Jealousy was huge there. Burning Jealousy was absolutely huge. Or is it in range of Max Knuckle? Please be in range. Please be in range of Max Knuckle. It's probably not. It's definitely not. Life Orb, ah, no, no, okay, uh, is there any way to do this? Is there truly any way to do this? I do have plus two special defense, I suppose I can just bank on somehow living a hit from Torkoal. So I'll go for a protect here to try to stall out Sun, I suppose. Even though I'm going to take more burn damage. So you go for the Dragon Claw. And a Burning Jealousy. Yeah, uh, my play is going to be to... Ice Crash crashes the most to cure him. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not able to take it. GG. Yeah. All right, yeah, Burning Jealousy was really smart by my opponent there. They were able to actually get that on a really, really good turn. All right, so we're facing Regigigas Weezing plus Sation, which is something that I've been a just a big advocate for. I feel like this is a really cool comp in the format. Um, How do we deal with this? Regieleki is going to be really, really solid for dealing with this, actually. I can lead off Regieleki and Eternatus. That's actually not a bad lead for this thing, because what I can do is actually just go for a Dynamax Cannon into this guy for huge damage, and Regieleki is going to outspeed everything. I, I could even possibly Dynamax my Regieleki <laughs> and just try to get as much damage on that thing as possible, but I don't know about that play. I don't know about that. Uh, Landorus seems essential for the end game, and I think my last Pokemon... Uh, I'm, I could go with P2. P2 wouldn't be awful in this, in this situation for Trick Room option. Uh, but most of my team is pretty fast, so I think I might just go with Glacier as a generally nice Dynamax option. Okay. Now, with my all-seeing eye, I am going to make a prediction. The Reggie Gigas player will, in fact, protect the Weezing turn one. Am I correct in my assumption? I kind of want a Dynamax here and just go for that max. kind of just want to go for the max move, to be honest. I kind of just want to go for the max move. <laughs> Do I lose much from that? Um, not really if it works out. All right, yeah. Live fast, lose lose fast, you know. Dynamics, can you protect the wheezing? Yeah, okay. Live fast, lose fast. That did nothing. Okay, that did something, though. Max Strike, Focus Sash. We're still faster than this thing, which is nice. Uh, matter of fact, I might just switch out Eternatus here, since I should still outspeed you, 167, 184, yeah, I'm still faster. So I'll go for a max guard here, and... Because I, I want to assume they're going to protect, and try to knock out my Reggie Lucky. So I'll go for a max guard, and I'll get in the Lando here. Actually, uh, Glacier is more expendable. As they go for a max strike again, interesting. Uh, I guess now I go for a Max Lightning, since their Dynamax ends next turn. Uh, and I can actually... I don't really care about Glacier getting... I don't care about Glacier getting burned. It's really whatever. Oh, cool. Alright, we don't even have to worry about that. We got real lucky there. Um, and Regieleki is prone to getting faked out. I think what I want to do here is actually save Regieleki for a while. I'll go into Landorus, and... I'm assuming they're just going to fake out, right? I can go for an Earthquake next turn and get a lot of damage off. Uh, although I'm taunted on my Glacier, so that isn't amazing. I'll just go ahead and high horsepower the Incinera. Yeah, because regardless, these guys are going to drop to an Earthquake. Go for an Earthquake, and I'm not taunted anymore. I can go for a Protect. And this should be KOing both of these Pokemon, and if they have a Zacian in the back, it's going to be doing a lot. So, we're good. As they opt to just give me both of these Pokemon, which is great. Neutralizing Gas wears off, so Lando gets Intimidated. 
There's the Zacian crown. I mean, obviously, my play here is just to... I think my play, actually, since I'm always going to outspeed Zacian with Regieleki, as long as I get Regieleki in next to Eternus, I just win. I don't want to risk anything. So I'm going to go for an Earthquake, even though I'm probably just going to, you know, get knocked out here. What matters is just landing... Yeah, landing an Electroweb. So if I land this Electroweb, I pretty much win. I could have, like, cycled Intimidates, but it didn't seem worth the risk of, like, calling something wrong. Because what is it? It's, this only has a 5% chance to miss. Famous last words, by the way. I'm going to miss it. Uh, so I'm just going to go for it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you kidding? No. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Please. Please somehow KO. Please somehow KO. Please somehow KO. Just choose Glacier for no reason. Just assume I don't have Flamethrower. I guess you already saw it, but just somehow Glacier KO. Oh my god. No. Not like this. 5% chance. Really? Really game, you're really gonna do this to me on my video on my video. Okay, we're good. We survived. I forgot how bulky this thing is <laughs> That's so <laughs> That was so stupid dude. Why do I play this game? Why Why do I even play this game? All right as we face a uh, Kirim team did we face this guy before I don't remember Um, Let me think here I guess what I could do is just lead off similarly. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I almost want to say he doesn't have Sleep Powder on the Venusaur, but that seems like a waste. <laughs> that seems like a genuine waste of resources. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely faced this guy in this video, if not right before recording the video. I'm just wondering if it's... I was wondering if that was like the same Kyurem team, but I'm pretty sure now. I'm going to lead off Eternatus. And I think I'm just going to go Regieleki again. Lando in the back is really nice. And Glacier. Okay. So Fake Out on Eternatus makes so much sense right now. But also an Ice move makes so much sense right now. What I'm going to do here is just get Eternatus right back in by... Is he going to go for a dragon or an ice move? An ice move would make more sense onto Eternatus. It covers so much more. So I'm going to get in Glacier, and I'm also just going to Volt Switch on the Mian Xiao. As he goes for the Fake Out, Volt Switch. That does a lot. Tell me you targeted this thing. Okay, we're good. That is... That's, that's pretty poggers. That's pretty poggers, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to go ahead... And I should be able to pretty reliably KO this thing by Dynamaxing Glacier right now and just going for a, a Dynamax Cannon. But I also have to be really careful. I think what I could do is actually just KO it with Lando this next turn. I think what I'll do is I'll get in Lando here. No, no, I'll get in Regieleki here. Because Mian Xiao will always go down at the end of the turn. Just go for a Dynamax Cannon onto the Kirim. Yeah. If she goes for the coaching, that's fine. And now... 161, 157. Yeah, now I should be able to do my thing. Because I just go for an Electroweb. And since I'm Lumberry, I can max Airstream into the Kyurem. I have to land this on the Kyurem. <laughs> I have to land this on the Kyurem. Alright, that should be fine. It says, now I always outspeed. What? You lived? Okay, all right, hold up. And we know it's Assault Vest, right? I know it was at plus one defense, but it takes it that well? For real, dude? For real? No Cappuccino? Okay, um, does Thunderbolt KO from this range? I really doubt it. It has to, though. Okay, this is still doable. It's, it's not doable. This, this, this is not doable. This is no longer doable. <laughs> How did that not KO? I'm so disappointed. I, and I had to airstream there. If I went for a rock fall, it could have gone. It could have gone pretty bad at the end, I think. If there was a if there was a, a freaking thunderous in the back, I feel like that could have gone bad. Um, what's my out here? 
There is no out. I have lost. I guess close combat, yeah. <laughs> GG. Dang, man. Dang. He got me twice. Because I know I lost him the last time. Alright, as we face... Honestly, one of my better matchups. Um, but I have to be really careful, too. I have to be really careful. I think the way I lead versus this team is just to turn to Slanderous. And if they end up bringing out Thunderous, uh, they still have to take a... They still have to take a hit from the Eternatus, which isn't great. Yeah, and Regieleki in the back. And I think my last Pokemon in this matchup is usually going to be Kartana. Usually. And actually, I feel pretty good about Kartana here. If they end up leading off Venudon, I'm in a really good spot. If they end up leading off... Um, Thunderous, it's it's kind of whatever. I have to do a damage calc real quick. <laughs> Let me look at this. I, I have to think about this. Which does more? Which does more? My Meteor Beam? Timid Meteor Beam? Or, or Timid plus one Meteor Beam or um, Dynamax Cannon? Meteor Beam versus Thunderous. I always forget. Yeah. So, not Assault Vest. They, they do not run Assault Vest. Dynamaxed. So, Meteor Beam, Dynamax Can does up to 101%, where Meteor Beam at plus one does literally the exact same. So, regardless, I'm doing the exact same amount of damage. It's in my best interest to use Meteor Beam in that situation. Uh, and all... Okay, I don't even get a chance to use Meteor Beam, because because this man's running the counter. He's actually just running the counter. Um, is there a way... Is there a way to actually do this? <laughs> okay, we live. He goes to the close combat and we live. Okay, we're. I think we're good. We might actually be good. Oh yeah, we get the crit too. <laughs> oh man, that's kind of nasty. To be honest, I kind of gave him the nasty there. Um... I feel bad, but it was a roll. It was a roll to KO. There's the Groudon. I'm not in a bad spot. Uh, Urshifu can do a lot of damage to me, but the sun is out. I think what I'm just going to do here is try to KO the Urshifu by all means. So I'll go for a Dynamax Cannon as well as another Max Airstream. I could, I could even technically Max Rockfall that thing, and yeah, okay. Alright, uh, I get in my Kartana here. And I believe I just win by going for a Sacred Sword. And... I'm gonna go for a Max Rockfall. And this is kind of a controversial play, but the reason I'm going for Max Rockfall is because it makes it so I can actually just protect on the... Um, or maybe I don't even do that. Maybe I just go for a Sacred Sword and the stack attack expecting him to Trick Room and I get in my Regieleki here. Assuming he Fire Punches my Kartana. And then I'm able to... No, that doesn't make any sense. Here's my play. I get in Regieleki here. And I Max Quake here. Yeah, okay. So I KO that thing, and now I'm good. Since Aqua Jet won't KO me, and I still outspeed. Cool, cool. Uh, we're not even going to risk anymore. I am tired. <laughs> I'm tired of missing Electrowebs. I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt. Um, or actually, no, I think my best play is just Protect Earthquake, technically. Yeah, because that catches that. Uh, and now I can actually go for Thunderbolt into Urshifu pretty reliably, and... I guess I fly? See, Aqua Jets, it doesn't do much in the sun. Thunderbolt connects, Precipice Blades connects, and I believe I just win now by clicking Leaf Blade and fly. Oh man, dude, that's such an adaptation. Freaking um, <laughs> adrenaline orb on the on the tornado or adrenaline orb on the thunders is kind of insane. Are people running that? No, no, no one's running that. So he got me. He got me with the he he, he got me there. Okay, let's do another. Man, absolutely tossed me up that first term. <laughs> I'm glad I got that crit. It was a roll. It was a roll. I will admit that it was a roll. So the crit may have saved me, but it's only May, and we take those. We only take those. Actually, it's only March, but today is March 1st, but you know, 
May is just a couple of months away. Uh, we're facing Lapdog, which I don't feel terrible in this matchup. In fact, I feel like this is one of my, my better matchups, technically speaking. What I can do is go... I go Eternatus Kartana on lead here. Uh, Regieleki in the back, and I think my last Pokemon is going to be Landorus. And the reason I do this is because if I let off Eternatus Regieleki, uh, then the Raichu has a higher chance of absolutely stuffing my lead. Where if I go Eternatus Kartana, the Raichu has a much lower chance of absolutely stuffing my lead. Yeah, yeah, I, I just convinced myself that that's true. Okay, <laughs> I had to convince myself that was true, but I wasn't feeling it for a minute, but I think I'm feeling it. Actually, maybe I just don't even, mm, I don't know. I don't know, maybe maybe I don't bring Regieleki. Ah, it's too late. <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe I bring Glacier here. Okay, so I do call the lead correctly, uh, and I think what I wanna do here is, assuming they go for a G-Max Resonance, I want to say they go for a fake out into Eternus and the G Max Resonance into this onto Eternus in the same turn, and then they just nuzzle me. Hmm. Reggie Lucky would survive that turn, right? I could try something kind of crazy, kind of brazy. You're gonna think I'm crazy, right? You're gonna think I'm crazy. I might be an absolute idiot, but I'm gonna max airstream this Raichu to give me a speed advantage on the next turn as they end up getting in the Amoongus. Hopefully they faked out this turn. So they go for an Eerie Impulse, which I'm fine with because this next turn I actually take the Raichu away from them. Regardless of what they do, I take the Raichu away from them. So a max Knuckle, I believe, will pick up a KO here if <laughs> freaking max airstream did 42%. Yeah, max Knuckle will pick up the KO here. Since getting the Eternus, or getting the Landers here. Yeah, because that's 110 divided by 2. It's essentially 55. Max Knuckle's a 90. Yeah, I'm always going to KO here. So I get a Max Knuckle off. And now I actually outspeed the Raichu and I KO it. And now I have plus 1 on my Kartana. And now I got plus 2 on my Kartana and plus 1 on my Landorus. And things aren't looking so great for this Lapras player. Things are not looking so great. Can you take a plus 2 Max Overgrowth? I really don't think so is the thing. I certainly don't think so. Let me go for a Rock Slide, too. Um, I don't really care about getting put to sleep here. And I go for the Max Overgrowth and the Lapras. If it protects, it's whatever. Yeah, there's the Max Guard. I kind of want to get a flinch here on the Amoongus, just so I can stall out another turn. I don't have to use my Lumberry. Okay, cool. I stalled out a turn of Lumberry. Go for another Rock Slide. Go for another Leaf Blade. So they go for the Zacian Crown. I'm fine, because I have speed on my- Oh, wow, that just straight up KO'd. I was going to say, I have a lot of speed on this Kartana, and that thing does not want to take a plus three smart strike. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll get in the Regieleki here, since it has Sash. Actually, no. I think I- I don't think I Earthquake, yeah. I think I get in the Regieleki here, and go for a smart strike on the Zacian. Hidden Power Fire doesn't exist in this gen, so Amoongus is no threat to Kartana. And that doesn't quite KO. Sacred Sword will, though. Ooh, actually, that's really bad. That is really, 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 really bad. Really, 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 really bad. I can get into Lando here. And an Earthquake would do it, since he can't put me to sleep. I think my play is just to Earthquake. And try to Electroweb. Goes for Protect. He's going to Spore me, which is fine. Still keep my Regieleki. I have another turn to wake up, go for another Earthquake. I should take any hit from the Satian, barring a crit. Behemoth Blade, we live, and Zacian's down, and now we win. With Eternatus coming in, clicking that Dynamax Cannon. I could click whatever I want, uh, but we're going to give it up to Eternatus here. Nice, GG. Let's get one more. One more for the vid. Honestly, this is an interesting team. It feels hyper offensive y, but it's like not, you know? It's kind of not. Eh, it kind of is. <laughs> I think it's hyper offense. The P2 makes me want to say it's not. As we end up facing. Oh. 
And with that, guys, we have won. <laughs> with that, we're going to call it, because I just realized I have a lecture anyways. Call that a win right there. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like, and then subscribe to the channel and turn notifications, because uh, I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And answer my comment question of the day. How would you use Kaparaja in this format? Let me know. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.